The goal of my experiments is to reduce the cost of solar electricity cheaper than electricity from thermal and nuclear power plants. My research has found 10 types of cheap mirrors, and this video will describe the third of those 10 types. The third type of mirrors is the basis of this my solar station, and it is made of a sheet of expanded polystyrene and this reflective film at 25 cents per square meter, and the total cost of the mirror is about one dollar per square meter. It is about a hundred times cheaper than the mirrors of these solar power plants, which recently lost the electricity cost raised to solar panels, but the cheap mirrors could change the leader of the race. My experiments were with these cylindrical mirrors, with these spherical mirrors, and with several structures of composite mirrors. These mirrors focus solar radiation into this line. A close look at the mirrors allows you to notice these tracks of glue between the polystyrene sheet and the film, and below is a link to a video, which shows how I made those mirrors. Unfortunately, my cheap reflective film was 20 micron thick illuminized mylar with a lifespan of almost 18 months, but those mirrors are very cheap and I tested several ways to easily replace them. In addition, we know of similar reflective films with a lifespan of several decades. You may notice similarities between my solar station and solar power plants of this type, the number of which already exceeds a hundred in different countries, and their total cost is approximately 40 billion dollars. Their mirrors focus solar radiation into this receiver, where the radiation heats thermal oil to almost 400 degrees Celsius, which produces steam to generate electricity. This is a polystyrene sheet, and you can see that its surface is concave. I described how to make it in this my old video, where I also described installing this reflective film on that concave sheet. Now you see how my mirror focuses the solar radiation to this point, which will set fire to a piece of paper. This is a short row of my spherical mirrors, which focus solar radiation into these three points, where we should place these three receivers, which should be able to move in this way. This is our position in the morning, and this is the moment of the receivers until the evening. This is another option for installing receivers, with the possibility of their movement. It is obvious that solar radiation must heat that thermal oil, which circulates through this pipe and has a temperature of up to 300 degrees Celsius, as I described a minute ago for these solar power plants. The cost of our solar heat must have this value to win the competition from solar panels, and therefore we must achieve this cost of mirrors and receivers, this cost of mirror replacements and other parameters. It is obvious that our solar power plant must consist of millions of mirror dishes, and that thermal oil from their receivers must transfer the thermal energy to turbines and heat up huge masses of concrete, sand or soil to almost 300 degrees. Those hot masses will provide thermal energy to the sand turbines at night and on cloudy days, as I described in this my old videos, and it is a radical advantage over solar panels, which only produce electricity when the sun is shining. Those structures use the same cylindrical mirrors, but they are mounted on these wooden ribs, which form the desired shape of the mirrors, and I assembled seven such mirror strips into this structure. The edges of those wooden ribs lie on these curved surfaces, and therefore those seven mirror strips focus the solar radiation into this spot, where I will place this piece of newspaper. We understand that this newspaper should be replaced by a receiver like this, and now we will see here that the solar radiation heats this black surface to 400 degrees Celsius, which will heat the thermal oil that should circulate through this input and output. Other features of this structure are described in this my old video, and this other old video describes this second option of mirror structures, which physicists might call a Fresnel mirror. These seven mirrors do not form a single curved surface, and therefore some people will think that it is not able to focus, but now we will see that those seven mirrors focus the solar radiation into this spot. 
A little later, that spot will burn a hole in the screen and set fire to the wooden parts. 